What is up guys, Ryan Maniac V2, and I'm bringing you another tutorial uh, today for you guys. And um, today's tutorial will be rendering Alpha Channel in Cinema 4D, um, rendering just your object with a transparent background, um, no cutting out in Photoshop necessary, so to get that perfect cutout on your object um, with no effort involved whatsoever. So we're going to be rendering a transparent background with just the objects. So you want to go into your render settings first, right up here, click that. Go into your output, make sure you have the size right, 1280 by 720, which is what I recommend. Your save should be a PNG. It's not that by default, it is a TIFF PSD layers by default. Change it to PNG. And make sure the, the box by Alpha Channel is checked. By default, it is unchecked, so you're going to go ahead and check it. And uh, then choose your output. I'm going to output to uh, test alpha objects in my graphics folder and hit enter. And um, for the um, output, again, make sure you have it from frame 0 to frame 0 if you're just doing a still image. My next tutorial will be how to render a video from Cinema 40. So make sure it's from frame 0 to 0, just like that. And uh, remember the alpha channel. And then just over here, I don't think this is necessary, but on your object on the right, there'll be these two dots. Just click each one, one of them, make them both green lights. Um, I don't think that's necessary, but whatever, I do it anyways. Um, and then make sure you want to have nothing behind your object. If you have a light behind your object, um, then you can turn it up, you can use the uh, my other tutorial on how to make things only be seen in reflections and not by the camera, go check that out. But anyways, for right now I have no lights behind my camera, so I can afford to delete this um, object behind my object so I can delete that and it won't affect my scene whatsoever so now I'm just gonna zoom in and make sure these uh these guides show me where the edges of the video are or the edges of the picture are gonna be so I'm gonna zoom in and make sure my lights are, are inside these little boxes so that they don't render out and just get my object uh, in the scene only so now when we render out right here it is going to render um, to a black background, but once we open this in Photoshop, you will see that in fact this is not just a black background, it is a transparent background. Um, when you enter the Alpha Channel, it still shows a black background, um, but once you open it, you'll see that there is no background, it's just transparent. So we're going to go ahead and let this render out. Um, global illumination um, takes a long time to render out due to the lighting processes and all that. Uh, but anyways, um, this is named test, test Alpha Objects. So we're going to go ahead and open this in Photoshop just to prove to you that it is, in fact, transparent background. So we're going to go to my graphics folder, and we're going to find the test, uh, test should be up in here, Test Alpha Objects. Go ahead and open that, and... Uh, Voila, we have a transparent background, and now when I select, when I command click inside this box, it highlights just my objects. So there you go guys, that is how to render Alpha Channel in Cinema 4D um, with a transparent background. Um, if you guys like this tutorial, please like the video and comment saying what you want next. But uh, I will always, I'm going to make another tutorial on rendering for videos, so look out for that in the next few days. This has been an alpha channel rendering tutorial, guys. Thank you. See you next time.